Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I plastic dip my cleats and I'm going to show you how you can do the same to yours. The first thing you need to do is gather your materials. In the picture is a list of all the things you need. Grab your painter's tape or masking tape and lay it down over the portion of the cleat that you don't want painted. For my design, I'm going to cover up the speckled paint and the black and turn the solid yellow into red. After you lay down your tape, crease around the edges to prevent any paint from leaking in. This is what my cleat looked like when I was done masking off the parts I didn't want to get painted. It was a very long and tedious process, but this is one of the most important steps. Now it's time to paint. Lay down newspaper over the surface you're going to be painting on. This way, overspray doesn't get everywhere. You're going to want to paint with the Plasti Dip outside because the fumes are very toxic. So make sure that you're in a very well ventilated area. Make sure to thoroughly read all the instructions on the back of the can. Give the can a nice shake and do a test spray on the side. This way you know that your nozzle isn't clogged. Make sure to do nice light first coats. Apply your second coat much thicker. You shouldn't be able to see the base coat of your cleat. Make sure to cover multiple angles so you get good paint coverage. This is what your cleat should look like when you're done with your last coat. All you need to do is wait patiently for it to dry. Now it's time to remove the masking. It's very important that you do this step correctly. Carefully use a razor blade and score the edges around your tape. This way when you peel off your tape, it won't pull off the Plasti Dip with it. Unfortunately, I rushed this process and it led to peeling of my Plasti Dip in certain parts. Make sure that you carefully do this process as it is extremely important. Remove the newspaper that you stuffed your cleat with and all the masking and you're finally finished. As you can see, the small detailed portions of my cleat started to peel. This was because when I removed my masking tape, I didn't cut the edges clean enough, so the masking removed the paint along with it. But parts where I had clean cuts on my masking tape, it was really durable and stayed on. The great part about this paint was the flexibility. The Plasti Dip doesn't crack or split at all, so if you get stepped on or get scraped or rubbed, it's going to stay on there nice and good. The only concerns are the corners and edges of where the Plasti Dip was applied. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the transition that these cleats went through. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.